Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and How-Tos. I'm Tyler. Today we're gonna to be checking out this compressed air capsule slash vacuum cleaner. And it was sent to us by these guys right here, Hoto, for us to check out. Now I've been playing around with this for a few days. Really cool little thing right here. A lot of suction power, uh, a lot of compressed air power. Uh, I've got a digital anemometer right here and we'll do some tests on that. Uh, but just first we'll do like some real life scenario type stuff. So let's make us a little mess right here. Uh, this thing is great for cleaning up really small messes uh, like your keyboard or something like this. And all you have to do is take this and then you put this on, twist it on there. Uh, it only goes on there one way, has a little marking on here, a uh, few different attachments. We can attach this little brush thing right here. So like I said, great for cleaning out keyboards. And then you just put your button on here for about two seconds and it will turn on. And just like that, we have cleaned up our mess. Now you can take this off. And then we take this little front attachment off right here. Uh, doesn't really hold a whole bunch. So like I said, it's great for cleaning up small messes. Uh, and then this little thing pops out. This is your HEPA filter and you can replace that HEPA filter. And then you just dump the contents of this into the trash can or wherever you want to dump them. Give it a little shake, make sure everything's out of there. Uh, how you replace this HEPA filter, really easy. You just turn it, this opens up and right there is the small HEPA filter. Uh, same thing for putting it all back together, put that in, put this in here, twist it, and you're good to go. A few other attachments that we have right here are great for connecting this and being able to like uh, blow up an air mattress or any inflatables, stuff like that. You're gonna get a whole bunch of speed out of this. Like I said, I've got this digital atomometer right here. So we'll go ahead and hook it up, test the suction speed as well as uh, how much it can blow as well. Let's go ahead and test the blow strength here really quick. So we'll hook this up right there, do this. And right there, earlier I was able to get this all the way to 60 miles an hour, but still we got really fast right there at 58.82 miles an hour. That's a whole bunch right there. And then, like I said, on the other side of this, we can test the suction. It's gonna be just a little bit less because I was using this uh, little cone adapter right here. So let's go ahead and test the suction here really fast. Let's go ahead and reset all of this. And this time we're gonna be holding it to the suction side, which is this side. And right there is 26.20 miles per hour on that so a lot of suction as well overall i've been really happy with this like i said a whole bunch of different little attachments that come right here this thing are really small compact so you can take it with you uh, in your vehicle maybe clean up a small mess if you need to comes with this great little baggie right here as well and this just fits nice and snug in there so it keeps it to where you don't have to like dig around try and find it and then all of your attachments and stuff can fit in there as well comes with the charging cable here usb a on one side usb c on the other side so that you can charge this bad boy really fast. Speaking of charge, uh, I've been using this, like I said, for a few days now and haven't had any issues. Uh, haven't had to recharge it at all. So you're going to get a great battery life out of it as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, I highly recommend it. Go ahead, check this one out. Again, it's from Hoto.